Welcome to lab four, game four. In lab one, what we're going to do is we're going to set up the game and you're going to add the alien attack library. So that's lab one. So let's open up Multimedia Fusion 2. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the new a new program here. So click the new button. As I'm going to name my application one here. I'm going to click here, right click, click rename, and I'm going to call this Alien Attack. And I'm going to right click frame one, and I'm going to call this one Game. In the workspace toolbar, I'm going to double click game. And I'm going to center this. And I'm going to make sure this is maximized, which it is. So next I'm going to add the folder to the library. So in this panel right here, underneath Cat Burglar, I'm going to right click and I click new. Now I'm going to navigate to my game design folder. Go into Resources, go into Project 4, and I'm going to add the Alien Attack Library, and I'm going to name it Alien Attack Library. I just double, I click it, and then I double click this, and I see all my objects here. So I want to see any of these um, Objects, I also do is right click on them. I can click view and I can look at them and see in more detail what any of them looks like. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the background here um, black. So make sure game is selected here. Then you'll have the settings icon. So you want to make sure that you've got this little check mark selected up here. Then you can slide down here, click RGB, red, green, blue, and click a background for your color. So now you're, you've got a back black ground. Now I'm going to add the earth object to the bottom. I just bring it up. I right click it. I align in frame. I align it on the bottom. I right click it, click align in frame, and then I click horizontal center. And one more time, right click it, and I click lock. I'm going to save my project, click the Save button. I head on up to Project 4, and here's my Project 4 in my Game Design folder. And I just name this Alien Attack. Click Save, and I'm done with Lab 1. Lab 2, I'm going to add spaceships. I'm going to add it to the game frame. I'm going to draw a path for them, then contain them in the play area. So now I'm going to add spaceships to the play area. So I, what I'm going to do is drag this down so I can see that upper left-hand corner. I'm going to drag a spaceship up here. I'm going to put one right slightly below that. And slightly below that there. So I got three spaceships up here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a path movement to the spaceships. In the frame editor, I'm going to click the top left spaceship object right there. In the properties toolbar, I'm going to click the movement icon. It looks like the running man. And I'm going to click static. And I'm going to choose path. So I've got my movement selected and I've chose my, chosen my path. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a path for my spaceship object. So I click edit. I click, at the, I click um, this movement here, tape mouse. And I have to change the color because I've got a black background. I don't want a black line. I click um, yellow. Yellow is good. So now <laughs> I don't like that. Um, 
I can click try, uh, try movement. Show what those ships do. See, they all go down. So I click tape mouse, and I'm going to start it from the bottom. Then I click it again. Click the box again. And I kind of make these irregular. So you don't want to be predictable. This is going to be the movement of the spaceship. I just click OK. Now suppose I, I didn't like the path that my alien ships were going. I wanted to delete that. How would I do that? All I do would be click uh, Edit. Then I click and drag in the play area. And put a... And I have this flashing. See that? If I wanted to delete that, I just... I could click and drag over the whole thing if I wanted to. Then I would just right click. And I would click delete. That's all I would have to do to delete that path. So what I want to do is loop the movement. So I go back into edit. And I'm going to click loop the movement right here. And I'm going to click reverse at the end. So this is reverse at the end. So those are two things I want to do. So I want my, I'm going to try the movement to see a preview of how the movement looks. So now I'm going to create a condition for when the space object reaches the right or the left sides of the play area. I'll click OK first. I go in the View menu, and I'm going to go into the Event Editor. So I'm going to click my new condition. You right-click the space object, and then click Position, and then Test Position of Spaceship. So I'm going to click um, Spaceship Leaves on the left and Leaves on the right. So I got blue going at 3 and 6 o'clock. I mean, sorry, 6 and 9 o'clock. I go OK. So now I'm going to make the spaceship reverse when they hit the left or the right sides of the play area. So now I'm going to reverse the spaceship. I right click on the spaceship and do Movement, then Reverse. Now we're going to go into lab three. In lab three, we're going to go to our game frame editor. So go, click on double click on game. So I'm going to add the alien object to my game, but I'm going to put them in the gray area here. You just drag them into the gray area. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a timer condition. So I'm going to go in my back to my event editor. I go view, event editor. I'm going to right click my new condition dialog box. So I'm going to click the timer and I'm going to click every. And next to seconds, I'm going to delete the number there, then put zero. And in one hundredth of a second, every one hundredth of a second, seventy-five hundredths of a second. And I'm going to go OK. So every uh, three quarters of a second, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a picture account set uh, condition to the timer. So I'm going to right click every, uh, and then I'm going to click insert. And I'm going to right click the spaceship object, then click pick or count, then click pick spaceship at random. Now I'm going to go in the create new object um, box column here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to click create object. And I'm going to click alien. I click OK. I go relative, click relative to, 
and then I choose the dialog box. I'm going to click um, a spaceship and then click OK. And the dialog box next to X, I'm going to delete that and type 0. Same thing with Y. I put a 0 in there. So it's coming right, they're going to come right from the bottom of the spaceship. So now I'm going to click OK. So now I've got my spaceships spitting out aliens every three quarters of a second. There you go. They're spitting them out. Look at that. <laughs> They're not doing anything yet, but we're through with Lab 3. Okay, we're starting Lab 4, so I'm going to go back to my game frame. Now I'm going to add the bouncing ball um, asset to the alien. So I click the alien, I'm going to click the movement option, then I click static, and I click bouncing ball. Now you, we'll see what that looks like. I'm going to run it real quick. See, so they're just going all over the place. This isn't what we want to happen, so we got to uh, curtail their movement. So now we're going to set their initial movement to straight down, so I click initial movement. I erase everything and I click a six o'clock and click enter. That's what we want them to do. Okay, another thing we noticed that the aliens were dropping way too fast. So we're going to change the speed to 10. 60 is way too fast. So let's see how this looks now when we run our game. Yeah, that's, that's good. You'll be able to shoot those out of the sky. Now I'm going to add the shield to the game. Come down here above the earth, grab my shield, put it up here. Right click, align horizontally. Make sure it's just a little bit down here. You don't want that much room between it and the earth. All right, so now I'm going to create a new condition. So I'm going to create the new condition. I go into the view menu. Go to my event editor. So I want to create a condition where the alien hits the shield. So I'm going to right click the alien, collisions with collides with another object. The object is going to be this shield. So I want to make sure it's the shield I'm clicking. Go OK. So I want to destroy the alien when he hits the shield. So I'm going to right click the alien and I'm going to click destroy. So now I'm going to look at my game. And they're going to be, aliens are going to be destroyed when they hit the shield. And you see they've got built in animations. We're going to go back into the game frame editor. We're going to peek at the animation for the um, aliens. We'll do, double click the alien to go into that. And uh, we can see the disappearing animation click on that you can see that he disappears whoops up here's disappear you can see it becomes a green splat <laughs> close it out and that's the end of lab four